each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these areas. From the flight deck. Columbus Airport is a small to medium-sized, primarily general aviation airport. Along with itinerant business aircraft, it also serves the occasional military and commercial flight as well. It is located on the north end of the city of Columbus and is 10 miles north of the Lawson Auxiliary Airfield. Fort Benning and its associated restricted airspace began just 3.5 miles south of Columbus, and pilots approaching from the east and south must make themselves aware of this airspace in order to avoid possible conflicts. The runway configuration consists of two intersecting runways, the primary runway, 624, and the smaller runway, 1331. The taxiway system provides access to all facilities located primarily on the north and west sides of the airport. Full-length, parallel taxiways provide access to all runway ends. Two hotspots are identified at the field. Hotspot 1 is located at the intersection of taxiways Alpha, Charlie, and Delta, just to the north side of the intersection of both runways. The opportunity for pilot error is obvious, as this is a potentially confusing configuration. Hotspot 2 is located just southwest of Hotspot 1, across runway 1331. While the number of taxiways involved is fewer, the challenge is the same. Pilots are cleared to taxi to a specific point on the airport and instructed to hold short of either runway. Occasionally, pilots miss the above ground signage and the taxiway markings and cross the hold short line. Pilots need to remember that a specific clearance is always required to cross any runway, active or not. Not listed as a hotspot, but no less important, is the issue of pilots being cleared, runway six, taxi via Charlie, hold short ILS critical area, and then crossing the ILS critical area marking. At Columbus, the ILS runway six critical area is located just west of taxiway Foxtrot on taxiway Charlie. It may seem to be located a long way from the approach end of the runway. However, the airport geometry requires the distance to ensure non-interference with aircraft conducting ILS approaches to runway six. Being aware of the distance to the runway may help pilots maintain their situational awareness in this area. The last area of concern has to do with aircraft parked on the north side of the airport, primarily at the FBO or in the hangars. Pilots are reminded that prior to taxiing onto any movement area, they must receive the appropriate ATC clearance. November 39, Quebec, Roger. Uh, runway 6, taxi via Charlie, cross runway 13, Charlie. Here are a few techniques that may help pilots avoid making these types of mistakes. One, defer all head down activities until either holding short of the runway or parked on the appropriate ramp or hangar. Two, actively scan for signage and markings that indicate runways or converging taxiways. Three, use a moving map display or airport diagram to positively identify your own aircraft position and route prior to taxi. Four, most importantly, if you are ever in doubt of any clearance or instruction, Hold short and ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at the Columbus Airport will help pilots make better decisions, and along with the ATC tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Columbus, Georgia Airport. It's always better to know before you go.